shooting as poorly as they did, there was very little chance they were going to win that game, guys. Yeah, there was sort of a snowball effect in the game that I saw. I mean, what started as a cold night for a few guys became contagious and became a cold night for everybody.
this run, it's time for a momentum shift. You know, sometimes just getting off the court, taking a break, and coming back out fresh will give you a chance to pull together. And there before you are the teams that have been absolutely red hot for the last 10 games. It's due to better shot selection lately, Kevin. They're taking their time to make sure the shots they take go in. Really good self-discipline there. A great one-two punch, beautiful pass, and nasty jam. They built a big lead here early. Both defensively and offensively, they've been terrific right from the tip.
after the break. That'll be all for us here at the studios as we head back to the start of the third quarter with Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris. Thanks so much for joining me. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. Around 24%. Not a good showing here. Number 12, defended by Lou, and he uses the glass on the layup. That is some real serious dime dropping there. Exquisite assist. Number 13. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much to beat on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. And uh, he's just had one attempt at the line early. First free throw is good. Jumper drops. He's got 16. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Well, he may just be trying to get a break in the action to clear their heads. You know, a lot of their shots are rimming out. You wonder if their confidence isn't suffering at this point. I think that's a good time to call the timeout. If a team has a few fall the wrong way for them, just burn a timeout and let them forget about it. Regroup, talk about it, and refocus. Seconds gone in the third quarter. Off with the lane. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be. Firmly in control of this game. Yep, they have not let their guard down one bit in the paint. That was a good screen. Six on the shot clock.
team. I like the way they've played here in the first half. Just an intelligent floor game, getting good shots. The numbers certainly back that up. They're shooting a much better percentage. In the third quarter, we're just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Shot clock at five. Number 12. Second free throw, good. Gone three of three from the field since halftime. Inside, number four, gets it to go. He has six. The defense left him just a little window to get through, and he just ducked in for the layup. Terrific job. giving up a lot of size, but still finds a way to score. I don't think that affected him in the least, though, Steve. I mean, he made it look like he was the bigger guy. Number five.
never gives in, never gives up on a play, and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebounder. You've got to be relentless. The shot from the top of the key, he buries it. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Deflects the pass. Number eight. Hammers it on the polish off the break. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal. Active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. Uh, guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Let's go. 